as a solar installer, you also need the idea of interior decor. It's not about installing solar energy system, installing panels on your roof and installing the inverter. Now, how do you see this? Very beautiful, right? Everything looks very, very neat. One, we manage space. Two, we make sure the design fits into the space. Now, you don't come to an environment that have white color to do a rough design and leave it that way. So if you are an installer without the touch or without the idea of interior decor, go and learn one. Hi guys, my name is Mary Guy Emmanuel, your favorite solar energy guide from Solar God and Call Limited. Here in Abuja, we just concluded an installation of a 10 kilowatt hour lithium battery from Ferman and 5 kilowatt inverter from Ferman. The 10 kilowatt hour lithium battery from Ferman comes with 9 DOD. That means you can consume 9,000 watt out of this 10,000 watt lithium battery. And, uh, you know, the battery is a 48 volt system, a wall mount type, and also a ground stand type. You can decide to mount it on wall or stand it on the floor. The battery comes with, you know, six years warranty. And, uh, you know, they have a very good after sale service. Aside that, the battery has a Bluetooth connectivity, which makes it easier for you to, you know, see what the battery is doing from your phone. But unfortunately, I was unable to connect this because I couldn't find uh, the ID. I've checked around, I couldn't find it, but I'm still trying to reach out to Fairman to send me the idea of this battery. If you don't want to go through the process of connecting your phone to the battery, that's through the Bluetooth connectivity. Once you communicate the inverter to the battery, everything that is supposed to be displayed on your Bluetooth would be displayed on the inverter screen. The flaw I discovered with this battery is the handle. Now, it's very difficult for somebody to raise this battery and mount it on wall due to how small the handle is. Uh, you can only put in your two finger or just one finger, which will be very difficult for someone to raise this battery. It was very hard for us to mount this battery or to raise this battery and mount it on wall because of how the handle is. So Fairman, it will be very good if you work on the handle because most of us might end up losing our fingers if you don't work on this handle. But aside that, the battery is a very good one, which comes with 90% DOD. I've already talked about this. I'll not say much on that again. Here we have a 5 kilowatt, which is 5,000 watt inverter from Ferman with an MPPT of 5,500 watts. So it means this inverter can handle 5,500 watt power from your solar panels. And that is a good one because the inverter is 5,000 watts. You have extra 500 watts that is supposed to come from your solar panels. So if you apply load of 4,500 watts on this inverter and your solar panels are generating up to 5,500 watts, you have at least 1,000 watts going to your battery bank if you are consuming that uh, 4,500 watts. Fairman inverter is one of the most quiet inverter I've ever come across. Right now, this inverter is working. You can see there, there is light in the house presently. And uh, we have other laptop and like desktop working from this inverter. And everything seems to be quiet as if we are not on inverter. So if you want something simple, something compatible with your space, I advise you go with the Fairman. You can install it indoor without you having a problem of noise from the inverter. On the roof, we have uh, six units of 590 watt solar panels from Jinko to be recharging this guy and, you know, to support the home appliances during the peak hours. Uh, the, syst the load that will be on this system will be one AC of either one horsepower or 1.5 horsepower. Uh, uh, some laptop, fridge, his lighting point, power his microwave. Um, aside that, um, he will use his AC on this system during the night hours for like three to four hours, which is our agreement. He can exceed that, but you know, at his own risk, his battery might go off before morning. So that's not bad. If you want to power your one horsepower AC at night for like four, six hours, you can consider buying this 10 wall, which will serve you very well with other appliances on.